morning class. I'm teacher Renadette, your math teacher for today. Okay, so before we start, I want you all to stand and let's all pray. Okay, so close your eyes and bow your head. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side to light and guard and guide. Amen. Oh, amen. Okay, so good morning again, class. So, are you familiar with the word cemetery? Yes. Okay, so cemetery means that the shape is identical to the other shape when it is moved, rotate, or leave. Okay, so I think this topic will be easy for you. Okay, so because our topic for today is all about that, Types of symmetry. Okay, so we will be discussing the three types of symmetry. So I want you all to listen carefully and participate to our class. Okay. So now I will show you different pictures. Okay. So you will guess what was the pictures I will show to you. Okay. Okay. So are you ready? Yes. Okay. So first picture. What is the um, the first picture? Yes, very good. So, okay, the first picture was that honey house. Okay, so how, how about the second one? Yes, very good. So, it is a starfish. Okay, the second picture is a starfish. So, how about the third one? Yes, very good. So, that was a butterfly. Okay, very good, children. So, um, now we will discuss the different types of Symmetry. Okay, the first one is the translation symmetry. Okay, so if an object is moved from one position to another with some or oh, with same orientation in the forward and backward motion, so it is translation symmetry. So in other words, um, it is defined as the sliding of an object about an axis. Okay, so. Among those three pictures that I, was, uh, I showed to you a while ago, uh, this transmission symmetry follows pattern, okay? It follows axis. Um, so among those three pictures, which um, which which those pictures are an example of translation symmetry? Okay, very good. The first picture, the honey house, okay? So the honey house, there are the shape, uh, the shape of pianos, right? It's like the shape of the piano. So the shape, um, that shape is repeated in an axis. So it has a pattern. Okay, so very good. Okay, so the next type of symmetry is rotational symmetry. Okay, so when you say rotational symmetry, so it is also known as the Rachel symmetry. Okay, this exists when the shape is turned um, and the shape is identical to the origin. Okay, for example, the figure such as the square, the, um, the square, the circle, um, the rectangle, um, if when you rotate it, it is the same with its origin, okay? So, the the design or the yung pitura, pitura ng shape is hindi nagbabago, right? Okay, so, among those three pictures I showed to you a while ago, so which among those pictures are example of rotational? Yes, very good. So, the second one, the starfish. Okay. The example of rotation now is the starfish. Now, so, this is what is starfish. Show how the structure of the starfish follows the rotational symmetry. Okay, if you turn and rotate the starfish, um, it will still look the same, right? Uh, no no changes, right? Even you rotate it, it uh, the shape is star, right? Okay, so, it was the example of rotational symmetry okay so did you get that children okay very good so the like the last type of symmetry is reflexive symmetry okay so what is a reflexive symmetry so it is the most familiar among the types of symmetry okay so reflexive symmetry also called as the mirror symmetry because of the reflection from its name reflexive symmetry so it is a type of symmetry where the half of the object reflects the other half of the objects okay so 
the uh, the left side is um, the same with the right side because it reflects, right? So among the pictures I showed to you a while ago, which among those pictures are the example of reflexive surgery? Okay, very good. The butterfly because the one side of the butterfly is similar to the other side. So the design of the right side is it reflects on the design or the or the um, um it reflects from the other side also. So very good. The butterfly is example of reflexive. Also our face, um our face is identical from left side to right side. Okay, so. Um, our, the human face is example of reflexive symmetry. Okay, now for your activity, so I will show to you uh, different types of different pictures, and you will guess if what type of symmetry they are. Okay, so um, okay, so are you ready? Yes. Okay, so number one picture. It is um, does it is translation symmetry, rotational symmetry, or reflexive symmetry? First picture. Okay, very good. So the first picture is tiles. Okay, this that was tiles. So it was translation symmetry. Okay, very good. So second picture. Okay, so it is a circle right okay so what type of symmetry is that okay very good so that was a rotational symmetry okay so number three okay so that was a flower okay so what type of symmetry is a flower okay very good so that was an example of rotational symmetry also right okay very good so number Number four, number four picture, a butterfly. Okay, so what type of symmetry is a butterfly? Okay, very good. So butterfly example of reflexive symmetry. Okay, very good children. Okay, so the last picture. Okay, that was a square. Okay, so square example of Okay, good job. So, it's for example of rotational symmetry. Okay, very good children. So, I hope you really understand our lesson for today about the types of symmetry. Okay, let's give ourselves a round of applause. Okay, very good children. Okay, so, do you have any question about our lesson for today? No one? Okay, so what was our topic again for today? About? Yes, about types of Symmetry. Okay, so what are the three types of symmetry that we discussed a while ago? Yes, very good. So the translation symmetry, the rotational symmetry, and the reflexive symmetry. Okay, very good, children. Okay, so that's all for today. And thank you and God bless.